It's my cocoa chili rub salmon with roasted <laughs> rainbow carrots and crispy quinoa. Yum. Maybe there's oh, something God. else in there. All right, now I've heard of the cocoa rubs on steaks, but I never love on cocoa salmon. rub on a steak. Right, and we do love. I got some cocoa. Powder right. here, Sunny. Like you will that. be what my soup. We got those lovely rainbow carrots. Get my readers just out. a nice little mm -hmm. vegetable. They're easy to make. We're gonna roast them. I got some wonderful skinless salmon fillets, about three ounces each. I'm just gonna hit them with a little while we're making everything else. A little bit of kosher salt, and this kind of tightens it up. Let's um, start with our butter here. We're gonna take four tablespoons or a half a stick of butter. All right, melt it up and kind of let it bloom with a couple cloves of garlic. Yes. Chopped up, mm. just to get the essence in there. I don't want a ton of garlic, but I want that flavor to marry with that butter. So let that go. Next, let's make our rub. Again, cocoa powder. Go to the pantry, pull, and get your cocoa powder used for your brownies or whatever. All right, some chipotle powder, some coriander ground, and then to tie it all and give that caramelization a little something extra sweet. Cocoa. That cocoa powder love, some light brown sugar. How now, easy I, is that? I do my salmon very similar to this, but no cocoa powder. So next time, maybe I'll add it in. A you know, bit. you got it in there. All right, so we're just going to kind of, again, we don't want to cook this. We want that garlic to mellow out. I don't want like the chunks of garlic on it. I just mm -hmm. want to kind of speed this up. Sometimes you can smash the garlic cloves and get the essence in there. But this way, once that's perfecto, mm -hmm. we can start painting that butter right on here. Paint it, paint you it. smell that? I smell it. We got the salt on there. We have all the other spices in our rub ready to go. And this is going to be the glue for that cocoa rub. I tell you, I just love salmon. Yeah. It is one I. of my favorite, yeah. favorite meals. And so perfect for a date night because it doesn't take a long time to cook. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, here this we go. crazy. All right, now we're going to give it a nice look at Jeff, that. You gonna oh, bake that's that? a lot. Oh, we're baking it. it. OK. Maybe broil it? No? You know, but the thing about salmon is it's great savory. But every mm -hmm. once in a while, I'll do like a barbecue rub that has oh, sugar love. in it or like yes. a honey glaze with mm -hmm. everything bagel mm -hmm. seasoning. 400 degrees. Okay. This is going in the oven How along these? with these. Why don't you come Dry? Olive... Should I have olive oil these? 20 ready? minutes. Yeah, hit it with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. We'll get back to that in a second, please, Sonny. But this is going top rack for about 20 minutes. I like my salmon. Sarah likes her salmon about medium, medium well. Ooh. So you, you can actually temp I'm your salmon. I'm a medium weller. So yeah, 20 minutes, but you can always pop in a instant read thermometer about 130, 135. Uh, don't overcook this, all right? And then sometimes, if you can yeah. see the top is not caramelized, just throw it under the broiler for a minute or two. These are gonna go right under that. Again, 20 minutes, same oven, 400 degrees. These are gonna roast till both are perfectly caramelized. Delicious, mm. but remember, you can't hurry love for this dish. So we'll keep cooking and wait. show you how this turns out after the break. Welcome back. Our cocoa chili rub salmon and rainbow carrots are almost ready for our date night at home. I have that roasted salmon with that chili rub, that oh. garlic oh. butter. Oh my God. It bloomed in there. It magnified. It intensified all that wow. natural kind of depthness from that cocoa powder. Remember, we had the chipotle powder in there, mm -hmm. the coriander, some classic flavors. That brown combined sugar, baby. And that, like, you know, and that, and that butter we did that with the garlic. That looks like you got it in a restaurant. It. It, look it's great. giving restaurant vibes 100%. Mm -hmm. I treat my salmon like steak. I want it to rest a little bit. Yes. Let it tighten up. In the meantime, let's get to our kind of crispy quinoa mm -hmm. or a little sauce yeah. for this. We got some fresh dill. What do you need? All right, chop, chop. chop it up as small as possible. Meanwhile, we got some browned butter. It's cooled mm. down a little bit, ready to go. to turn it back up to medium. To this, we're going to make this kind of little glaze for our carrots, right? That brown butter mm -hmm. and some honey. Mm. Oh, yum. To give it a little bit of citrus for a, brown a little more. zest from orange mm -hmm. and some juice from this orange as well. We're going to let this simmer for a couple minutes, just come together, and then we can drizzle this over our mm -hmm. carrots, mm -hmm. which I have in the oven still, right under that salmon. I have, look at this. You say, why the rainbow carrots? Why do we peel them? So pretty. Just, they just have such a beautiful, beautiful, just, you know, festive look to it. You don't get many other uh, carrots. Yeah. Because they're just orange. They're pretty. Normally. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do really quickly is push these aside, OK? Here I have some cooked quinoa. Right, remember okay. we said we're gonna make it crispy? Yep. We're gonna finish these guys. Double duty on the pan, save on the dishes, okay. save on the time and the oven space. I don't know about you guys, but I only have one oven at home. 
I really yeah, have. I mean, I'm like, the I'm like one which... notch above Katie. Yeah. One <laughs> oven I have. Just gonna hit this with a little oil, a little salt and pepper, and this is gonna go back in that 400 degree oven for about 20 more minutes where it's gonna intensify, crisp up, give ourselves a little crunchy texture. So we're gonna shut this down. We just kind of married the brown butter, the honey, and of course all that citrus and Mm. Orange mm. juice, just a little bit on there. I like how it's gonna definitely meander with the quinoa. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Going back in the oven, about 20 minutes. Mm. And this is what it's gonna look like when we're done. Magic happens in here, right? Everything kind of starts to mingle, but we separate it so you can see how crispy. Wow, oh, nice oh, team texture. I'm All right, in. so we have that fresh dill. We're gonna garnish with that. We have some fresh dill in here as well. And this mm -hmm. is yogurt, whole fat Greek yogurt, some lime juice, and some tahini. Give oh, it a whole nother element. I like that. Right? And I don't know, I just love the rainbow carrots, the yogurt vibe, all that. I think it's just classic now. We're gonna start plating, okay? We oh, got you're about ready to do a to smear on a plate? We this. We're gonna do you a gonna do a fancy ski. restaurant smear? Look at that. Uh oh, just a little bit on there. Just give it a little ah. smear. <laughs> Get as creative day. as you want. Now I have these carrots, the crispy quinoa. We are ready to go. Take these guys, start plating them willy nilly here. Cross. Look at that the red, the yellow, the mm. orange. Oh, they're glistening. All right, you can always put a little bit of good. that. We got our warm. Salmon, look at that. Of course, you could do this single on a plate. This is perfect to have right before you get on the couch and watch TV for the rest yep. of the night. <laughs> and you'll put this out. Thank you, Sonny. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crispy, little salmon, and a little quinoa in there. Oh, you wild him, Jeff. A little bit, crunch, just kind of around. Oh, wow. Not covering up all that. That Hard is work we've done with that caramelization. <clears throat> Look at that. Gorgeous. Go ahead. I knew you wanted it. It's like, it's like, it's pretty much batter for <clears throat> Sunny right there. We got some fresh dill. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Look at me liking healthy stuff. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That all in one. That's oh, beautiful, wow. Jeff. Look at the transfer. Oh. Jeff, I'm going to need a knife, too. That's okay. I won't judge you. <laughs> Jeffrey Gorgeous. just needs, uh, Getting your into chopsticks. the Ooh. carrot first. Mmm, oh. like candy. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So you. beautiful. Oh my gosh. Jeff. Crazy. It, right? It looks crazy. The fish is so caramelized all the way, like a 360, having the cocoa, the spices, the hint of the garlic butter. This is bonkers. It's like the perfect texture. Perfectly cooked. Those carrots are just like candied carrots. They're so good with the honey. This is truly like a perfect dish, in my opinion. Might be my favorite thing that you've ever made. Oh, Murder, right. she wrote. And you've made yeah. a lot of really good salmon dishes. This mm -hmm. is fantastic. Like, nobody get near this.